Hi guys! You know what? It's thunder and lightning out there. I was about to go out and do a bit of shopping. I've changed my mind. Which is a good thing because... Knock, knock, knock. I didn't miss the postman. So I've got a little parcel. Excited? So I'm going to call this a surprise unboxing because I actually don't know what's in it. I know what I've ordered. There's actually three fragrances on their way to me. I just got some incredible deals. And I don't know if you guys have done this, but um, I'm registered with a few perfume shops online. Um, Feel Unique, All Beauty, and amongst others. But you know they have deals when they say new customers can get like 10% off and so on? Why do I miss out being a long-term customer? So you know what I do? I've got about three different email accounts. I just register with another email account to get the, the new customer offer. Why not? So I managed to get some really good deals. And I've also got like points with other companies as well. So I managed to treat myself and get a really good discount. So I'm going to open the package in and going to be a surprise. Do you know what's really nice actually when it's rainy weather like this I mean it's been raining it rained all night and it's rained all day and it's nice to kind of be at home when it's like this. Now you burn your candles, play your music, just enjoy some munchies, do your house chores. By the way the door might not again. This is an unedited video, so I don't know how long this is going to be. And the only reason why the door might knock is because of life, and also that I'm actually expecting other packages. So this might be a double whammy video. It might be another package I might open during this. I've opened it. Now, actually, I've never tried these two. The brand is Juicy Couture. This is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture, and this is a 30 mil. That's all I could afford. All the other mil sizes for months have just been like extortionate prices. So, I'll be opening that one. I smelt a sample months and months and months ago, and it smelt really good, but that's so long ago. Viva La Juicy, the only one that I had, no, I do have a few, but let me explain it. The only full size bottle that I have of Viva La Juicy is the um, Viva La Juicy La La, which is like really fresh, oh, the music stopped, which is like really fresh floral. And then I have two rollables. Viva La Juicy Malibu and Viva La Juicy La La, Viva La Juicy Noir on each side. I showed them in my other videos. So check out my other videos and you'll see what I mean. Viva La Juicy, Juicy Couture. These are blind buys. This is a semi-blind buy, obviously, because I've tried a sample of it before. Based on the fact that I actually like the Viva La Juicy La La and I've got compliments on it and it's fresh and girly, I just, you know, presume that I would really like this. Plus, it was super inexpensive. I just got them on such a low deal with, like, quick delivery. I ordered this on Friday. Today's Monday. I like that kind of delivery process. So, um, I don't think I'm going to go wrong with these. We'll see. And if I don't like them, I can sell them, I can donate them, I can give them away, I can give them to my daughter, no problem. Because it really wasn't, it wasn't that dear. So I will be opening, what should I open first, do you reckon? Yeah, this one I chose based on, I don't know if I've just said this, sorry. But I, I did choose this based on some reviews. That um, it was sweet, I like my sweet perfumes. And it was really feminine and inviting. 
So I'm, I'm not going to go online and check the actual history and notes this time because I'm a little bit ill prepared and I didn't know what I was getting. So this is just going to be a review. But, oh, normally what I do, I keep the cellophane on and I just snip the outer packaging, but it's opened on the side. So I'm just going to have to take it off. No biggie. The box is really bright. I went into a, a juicy couture shop the other day in central London and the clothes and the things that they have on sale are just not my cup of tea. They are just really like velour tracksuits at extortionate prices. I would never wear, I, I'm not a trainers and tracksuit kind of girl. The kind of clothes it reminds me of is like, you know Jennifer Lopez, what she wears casually when you see her in the press, like that kind of um, attire. Gosh, the rain is really falling down. It's crazy. Yeah, so it's that kind of kind of those kind of clothes and really like bling fantastic velour kind of outfits. Not my cup of tea. So any information on the back? No. But it's lo I love magenta. I love gold as colours. I think they're just really eye catching and they just brighten up my they just brighten up my spirit. Sisu. -su -su. Viva la Juicy, Juicy Couture. There are so many Juicy Coutures. I get a bit tongue twisted. Viva la Juicy. Right. Da -da -da -da. I shouldn't really hold it like that. It could drop. So this is the bottle. I mean, that is super girly. On reviews, I hear people say that it's, um, it's kind of, marketed to teens but ugh, whatever <laughs> whatever I like bows and gold and a bit of bling and you know I do like you know out there kind of designs hmm the lid thought it looked a bit scratched no that's just packaging okay so I need to oh do you know what I'm paying attention to the dip tube that tube inside the perfume bottle I find it quite interesting whether they are invisible or if they're visible. And I think the invisible tubes are a lot more elegant. It's almost like, um, I mean, it's invisible. So it's, I don't know, it just makes the bottle look a bit more attractive. So this does not have an invisible dip tube. Yeah. Oh, okay. I noticed that a lot of people that find these, um, the bling bling kind of um, extravagant bow design, they normally take it off and just have more of a plainer bottle, but I don't mind it. I think it's quite cute. Okay, so here we go. Let me just turn the spray nozzle to the back. Spray. I'll spray it on this side. On this wrist. Oh, you cannot go wrong. My goodness, you can't go wrong. Is this the Eau de Parfum? Yeah, Eau de Parfum. Um, how do I describe it? Champagne. Amber, vanilla. Caramel, in definitely caramel. Um, fruity floral. Very safe. Very safe perfume seems really strong on me I can kind of detect if a perfume is going to be strong or weak and this just seems it's going to last so I'll see how this turns out by the end of the video if it gets stronger or weaker or if it changes but I can just smell fruity floral caramel and vanilla very fresh very feminine very girly and I think that this would draw in a lot of compliments does it smell like anything I own? Um, yeah, it smells a little bit like um, this perfume that I've got, got by Benefit, which is um, called Hooked on Carmella. But the Hooked on Carmella is far stronger than this. And um, what else does it remind me of? I think if you like your pink sugar fragrances, if you like any kind of sweet... Um, gourmandy kind of perfumes with um, a girly twist you're gonna like this this is really not, you know if you like Escada especially or if you like um, 
any kind of escada perfumes because they're normally generally quite sweet and fresh and girly, very pretty scents, then you'll like this one. Very, very pretty. That's a reach for, that's a perfume that I would actually reach for um, every day. Is it an evening scent? Yeah, you could wear that in the evening too. It doesn't smell, um, uh, what's the word? I didn't want to say cheap. It doesn't smell like, um, it smells like a perfume that you could actually get away with wearing in the evening or on a dinner date. Um, it doesn't smell like it's not high class enough, should I say, to not wear on a very prestigious night out. You know? Do you know you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's nice, it's lovely. Lovely perfume. So Viva La Juicy. And the next one is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Let me see if I can save the cellophane wrap in this one. So I'm just hoping that you've all had a pleasant day, morning, evening, depending on what time you watch this video. Um, I'm quite a spiritual person and I like to pray for the world. I pray for people that I don't know. I pray for everybody and I just pray for a brighter tomorrow. And um, I know that everyone's going through life's ups and downs and sometimes it's hard to get through stuff. But um, you will get through it. Believe in yourself. If you're having a bad day, put on some music. I'm sorry, my music stopped. I think it's because of the weather and the internet it just went a bit crazy. Um, so, yeah, you'll get through it. Just believe in yourself. Cheer yourself up. Play music. Open up a few windows. Burn a candle. Invite some friends around. Talk to a friend. Watch my videos, they might cheer you up. <laughs> I have to also say that I'm not affiliated with any company, so I don't get any disc, special discounts or extra discounts. This is just pure hobby. I save a pound a day, so that's normally £30 a month or £31 a month. In February, it's either £28 or £29 a month. And then by the end of it, you'll get, what, £365? And that's my spending money for my perfume. Good tip. So some people can't save a pound a day. It's a bit of impossible. So just count how many months, how many days there are in a month. So we're in the month of September, 30 days of September. So that's 30 pounds I put aside. You know, if you can't manage it, try to do it half the year. Some people can't um, figure out how to save or they find it difficult. But that's my trick. You could just, just do what you can manage. My mother says, hang your basket where you can reach it. Good tip. So um, I kind of destroyed the bottom of the box. A bit aggressive with it. Viva La Juicy. Just in case you're wondering why I do this, I do like to display my fragrances. So obviously if it was on my display shelf, the cellophane looks quite nice. It makes it look shiny and new. And then I would maybe put the perfume next to it or behind it. Or if I decided to give it away as a present. Also, when I get to, like, do you know what I'm talking to? And I'm kind of mesmerised by this bottle. It's, like, so pretty. Um, but when I get to the, um, the to get into the bottom of my perfumes, I give them away to my daughter. So then I give it to her back in the box and give it to her. She knows that it's not the full bottle, but she enjoys it. She's only nine. You know what I mean? But it's cute. It's nice to do that, isn't it? So, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Well, look at the bottle. It is a really um, glitzy, smooth, rich gold. You've got the couture, doesn't say juicy couture, couture in a kind of plastic pink, um, what do you call this? I don't know. What do you call that? Uh, clip it looks like a, a stick on clip that's not really a good description I'm sorry <laughs> but it's kind of like a 3d plastic couture 
something and another stuck on the bottom my head's not working today <laughs> with a polka dot netted bow around the um the cap the lower part of the cap I prefer this bottle design to the Viva La Juicy, which is still smelling beautiful. And actually, the development is, it's the same. It's quite linear, but it's getting quite stronger. And I can smell more floral notes than fruity. It's more floral vanilla to, to me, to my nose. Okay, so I'm presuming, yep, yeah, that's the lid. Put that down. And on the other side, oh, thought they've done it for me. Just turn the nozzle to the back. The reason why I do that is that when I spray it, you guys can see it, and I like to do that as well. Oh, yeah, this is it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, baby. That is the one. Oh, yeah. That's why it's so expensive. This is a 30 mil. Wow. It is so good. So what does it smell like? It's deeper. It's deeper than the Viva La Juicy. Similar scent in terms of the fact that it's sweet. Caramel. Is it the person? Oh. No. Somebody was there. Anyway. Hold on. It is personal. Oh, we must know. All right, thanks. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Oh, my God. How long did I keep this on? <laughs> Forgive me. Do you know what's happened? The postman's come and put, um, I sorry, I missed you. But he's, I don't know where he's gone. I think he's gone around the corner, so... He hasn't missed me, I'm here. My front door is just there. <sighs> Sorry guys, I don't know how long I left you for. <laughs> Non-edited videos, not a good idea. <laughs> anyway, what do I do? Right, back to the perfume. Caramel, sweet, sexy. It, I think, is it floral or fruity? Um, hmm. I don't know. I think it's a fruity floral. It's safe to say it's a fruity floral, but is it? Can I smell? Let me just get into it a bit more. I can't tell. You're going to have to do your own research on that one. I'll tell you what, to be fair, I'll put some notes at the bottom once I've done this video and I upload it in the um, information section I'll put more information about it that's the least I can do after leaving you stranded looking for the postman <sighs> how annoying anyway never mind so yeah great perfumes you can't go wrong very girly flirtatious very long lasting the first Viva La Juicy is just sitting and it just seems to be um, developing and getting stronger. I, I'm more of a fan of the Juicy Couture. 
um, gold couture. The bottle design is really cute and glamorous. And the smell is very intoxicating, seductive, flirtatious, very sweet, but it's got more of a, more deeper notes. And does it remind me of that sample that I tried three months ago? Not really, actually. Not really. I'm trying to think what it's similar to that I have that you guys could maybe um, relate to. Do I have a perfect... You know what? If you like um, La Via Belle, which is probably one of the most popular fragrances around at the moment, you know that kind of deep... I don't know, that is sweet, but it has the patchouli, the woody notes that makes it a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more... And sexier, a little bit more alluring, then that's what it has in there to kind of um, grab you. There's some kind of woody note in the gold couture that is just, mmm, come to mama. <laughs> anyway, I better stop the video here. Find out what happened to the postman. I might have to go to the sorting office now in the rain. <laughs> Oh well, never mind. Until next time. Bye.